Hey everybody, welcome back to The Pressing Matters. I'm Scott, thank you for tuning in today. Thank you for your support. Today I'm gonna to be covering the new Craft One Step release of Jazz Impressions of Black Orpheus uh, by the Vince Guaraldi Trio. I always have to think before I say the title because I often refer to it as Cast Your Fate to the Wind. And the reason I and many people do is for a long time, the cover the alternate cover was the only one out there. I'll show you a picture of it. It took advantage of the hit single status of Cast Your Fate to the Wind and made that like the primary lettering on the album. So many people refer to it as Cast Your Fate to the Wind, but the correct title is Jazz Impressions of Black Orpheus. Regarding uh, Cast Your Fate to the Wind, the reason uh, it became so popular was uh, there was a single released from this uh, uh, the Brazilian instrumental on side one, Cast Your Fate to the Wind on the B side. And the DJs of the time started playing Cast Your Fate to the Wind and it took off like wildfire and it became a big, big hit. And it put Vince Guaraldi on the map. Um, that is why Fantasy changed the cover um, and took advantage of that. It actually, the song actually or the track actually were, won a Grammy Award for Best Jazz Inter Instrumental. So it's a kind of a big deal. And it's really a big deal that Kraft released this in this format. This is um, mastered by Bernie Grunman, completely analog from the original master tape. It's cut from the tape. Um, there is no digital involved at all. Uh, it's pressed on Neotech vinyl. So RTI's premium vinyl formula, which is translucent. And uh, it's packaged in a beautiful slip case like this. I'm gonna show you some of this in close up. Um, it has black foil lettering. So you don't see it unless the reflection hits it. It has fabulous photo quality reproduction of the cover art inset into a recessed box. So it's kind of tipped in. Um, it has a ribbon which pulls out the content. So really cool. Never, you never lose the ribbon. And uh, this one is number 675. Um, yeah, I really like this. I like this format for, ones, for the one steps. I think it's the best of the premium releases. No big box, just a luxurious jacket. The jacket, by the way, is um, a tip-on jacket. Very well done. Uh, the labels are original blue full radial stereo labels. And uh, yeah, that's it. Nice. I think that's the best way to release these, and I think that's the best price, too. $109 seems fair for what you're getting here. And what you're getting is a fabulous mastering from Bernie Grunman. And it's all analog, as I said. Um, it sounds magnificent. I don't have anything to compare it to. My original Cast Your Fate to the Wind OJC is long gone. Um, and I didn't listen to it that much. I just bought it because I really love the cover at the, at the time, you know, and when I was buying all kinds of records anything that was in good shape and looked nice. But um, yeah, so this, um, this music is evocative of the film music. If you haven't seen the film Black Orpheus, you really should. It's really cool. I love the Orpheus legend. And this is kind of sets it in a carnival setting in Brazil. So there's a lot of, you know, um, Brazilian music in it. Uh, this takes four of those cuts and do, does it in a jazz trio format. So very interesting, very engaging, sounds great. Very little to criticize on the sound. There might be a couple of points where a hard piano strike sounds a little bit like tape distortion or overload, but overall 
it sounds wonderful. Buttery smooth, wide open. Sounds like they use the master tape because it sounds like master tape. It, it, it sounds great. And I think anyone would be very pleased with this, with this release. The alternate release by Kevin Gray um, is sold out. It was a three record set with um, the first record mastered by Kevin, uh, the main record, and two other cut uh, records of um, alternate takes. Surprisingly, that sold out. I thought that maybe um, maybe this would sell out first, but the FOMO is much lower these days on this kind of thing, um, especially with craft. I mean, the the first one sold out immediately. There was a lot of hype. The second one, Eastern Sounds, sold out in seconds. I remember that day. I got one, thank God. But yeah, that was like crazy, and people were pissed off. So. When Miles Davis relaxing came, they made 5,000 and it's still available. So this one has 3,000, uh, it's still available. And uh, I, think, I think it's a great, a great title and inspired choice for, for a one step. I'm really, really glad I got it. I had kind of forgotten about it because it's been so long since I purchased it, but um, it was, I was so glad to see it come in the mail and I'm enjoying it immensely. I think it's great. Um, the other players on this are uh, Monty Budwig on bass and Colin Bailey on drums. So they form the trio with Vince Guaraldi. But uh, yeah, this, this, this put Vince Guaraldi on the map and it's a classic album. I think everyone should have a copy, but uh, you know, it's not a cheap album for sure. But it's, I can tell you that it's extremely well done. The, from the jacket, the slipcase to the pressing, everything was absolutely perfect this time. So I wouldn't be hesitant because of quality control issues. It's not there, it's perfect. It was really perfect and I was so delighted that uh, they did such a good job with this. So that's my take on it. Um, let me know what you think, if you've heard this album, um, if you think it's worthy of a one-step release. Uh, until next time, I'm Scott for The Pressing Matters. Have a great day.